Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's request to the Queen to move in with her at Windsor Castle may have been rejected because of how inappropriate it would be for a young family to live at the royal palace, one royal expert said. Queen Elizabeth II refused to free up the living quarters at the historic Windsor Castle, a royal correspondent had previously claimed. The Times' Royal Nikha claimed the couple set their hearts on the castle, but didn't provide any reason why the monarch turned down their request. However, one royal author found a reason why the Queen may not have caved in. Hugo Vickers told The Times, there are empty bedrooms and suites in the private apartments which the Sussexes may have had their eye on, or perhaps some former living quarters in the castle grounds converted into other things. But I can see how it might not be entirely appropriate to have a young family living there. The five-bedroom cottage is only a ten-minute drive to Windsor Castle, and was given an extensive makeover to welcome the Sussexes and their newborn, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Windsor holds a special place in the hearts of Meghan and Harry, as revealed by Kensington Palace in a statement released ahead of their wedding. It read, as with all members of the royal family, Windsor is a very special place for Prince Harry and he and Ems Markle have regularly spent time there over the last year and a half. Prince Harry and Ems Markle are delighted that the beautiful grounds of Windsor Castle will be where they began their lives together as a married couple. Meghan and Harry have lived there some of the most important events of their lives as a couple. On May 19 last year, Meghan and Harry were married at St George's Chapel, on the grounds of the castle. On May 8 this year, two days after the birth of little Archie, the pair introduced their baby to the world with a photo call held in St. George's Hall, which had been extensively ruined by the terrible fire that engulfed the castle in 1992. Two months later, little Archie was christened in the chapel where his parents were married. Meghan and Harry spent their engagement months and first months as a married couple at Nottingham Cottage, on the grounds of Kensington Palace. But in November, the palace announced the pair would soon move to Frogmore Cottage. Hugo Vickers told The Express why the Queen may have decided to deny their request, saying it might not have been entirely appropriate. He writes, there are empty bedrooms and suites in the private apartments within Windsor Castle which the Sussexes may have had their eye on, or perhaps some former living quarters in the castle grounds converted into other things. But I can see how it might not be entirely appropriate to have a young family living there. When they were dating Meghan moved into Prince Harry's small two-bedroom cottage at Kensington Palace, which is just a few doors up from the Cambridge family. However shortly before the birth of Archie Harrison the couple moved into their new home, later than expected due to delays with the renovation work. List most things royal, most of the details about their new home have been kept secret but there are a few things we do know. The couple enlisted the help of designer Vicky Charles, who is behind the decor at their favorite hangout's Soho house, to turn the building into their dream home. Following renovation works worth £2.3 million, the pair moved into the cottage in March, just a few weeks before the birth of Archie. But now the family of three may be ready to move abroad, according to several reports with some claiming the Sussexes may be moving to an African country for a couple of years and others saying Meghan and Harry want to buy a house in LA to stay close to her mother Doria Ragland. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told, it has been clear for months that they feel restricted by conventional royal life. The Sussex brand has unique global reach, their aim undoubtedly is to champion various causes, for Harry Sintabala and Invictus, for Meghan female empowerment and diversity for them both mental health together with the Cambridges. There is vast global interest in them, their contacts with top celebrities are amazing, they have a marvelous way of working the crowds at home and abroad, Meghan has a huge influence on fashion and the fascination with Archie is endless. This leads inevitably to the reports that they might spend an extended time abroad, possibly in their roles with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust or even in the USA.